All right, second battle of the day, Rubicon's basement. We got using the inn this time, and Steve made it over, brought his vampires. We have some woods in the back. Everything is normal terrain. We got another house. We only have six pieces of terrain. Impassable thing there. Graveyard there. Little hill there. Kind of winter theme going on. I'm using the same list as before with a spearman, no shields, detachment, five crosswomen, five spearman detachment there, no shields. Uh, five knights with musician, steam tank. We have level four of life, and this time I'm not putting them in the unit. We have the hurricanum there. We have uh, inner circle knights here, or no, not inner circle, the, the upgraded regular knights. And then five knights in front with the musician. Five crossbowmen as a detachment for those. Ten spearmen with no shields. And five spearmen detachment, no shields. Second cannon, luminarch, and level one fire over there. And then on my far left, you have, what do you have? Uh, these are blood knights, zombies, skeletons with a vampire hero. Corpse Heart with a Necromancer on it, Grave Guard with a Vampire Lord, Ghouls, and Felbats. And Steve won the turn for to go first. Now, did the Felbats get to Vanguard? I don't believe so. It's a part of their thing. Alright, so movement phase. Move the Vampire Knights up. Moved up behind the building. Moved up, moved up, moved up. And the Bats flew over to be within 12 of the General. And... For magic, he has six to cast. I have six to dispel, thanks to the Luminarch. Okay, in Steve's magic phase, he raised two dice six zombies, plus his level, and got five behind the building. And then he tried to raise dead, and I dispelled it with dice. Wahaha! <laughs> Empire movement. <laughs> Alright, Empire gets a turn, and I haven't lost half my army. We have the crosswomen moved up, spearmen moved up. These guys shuffled a little bit to the right. They moved up, hopefully just out of max charge range. Skeletons, steam tank, powered up one steam point, misfired, but got the result where he can't use his steam gun. So he moved his one die six and is able to shoot his cannon. These guys moved up to Hi. perform some shit. Hey, Kendra. They perform some shenanigans on the Blood Knights. If they fail their frenzy check, they'll have to charge the flank and then overrun. Uh, I see Luminarch, and this stuff moved up. Big bus moved up with the hurricane behind it, and we're on a shooting. No magic. All right, so a magic phase. We've got big magic phase, and I got thrown up, which you let go. Level fours got thrown. Then I cast uh, dwellers on that unit, and rolled high enough for him not to be able to dispel it. But instead of killing half the unit, I only killed a third. <laughs> and then for the last two dice, I shot the luminarch and killed a vampire knight. So there's that. And movement magic, we're on to shooting. Okay, so steam tank went to go fire its gun and uh, rolled a misfire, took a wound, and then first cannon shot the corpse cart. Uh, he regened it and rolled to wound the necromancer level two on top. And uh, I hit him, I wounded him, and got one wound, rolled a one. The other cannon shot, uh, rolled a one to wound the corpse cart, rolled a one to wound the necromancer on top. <laughs> Comedy of errors here. So we're on to Steve's turn two. All right, so those are ghouls. Ghouls mm -hmm. moved up. They moved up the, God, what are they called? Graveyard. Gra grave guard. They failed to charge on my knights that were there. I fled, so they failed charged, moved up a couple. And then over here, he passed his, well, originally, he's going to charge those frenzy knights into my flank and then charge the zombies into the front, but he couldn't make the wheel from behind the building. So then we went back and he passed his frenzy chest to not charge, tried to swift reform them, and then rolled a 10 <laughs> for leadership to not be able to. Oh, and then the zombies are kind of stuck there behind the building, and the bats flew over that way. We were on a Steve's Magic. So in magic phase, Steve tried to raise dead, and I dispelled that with a scroll. And before that, you did the die six plus his level zombies. Yeah, invocation on skill. Yeah, invocation. And I got that with dice, but he rolled high enough for me to want to use my scroll because I can't have these charges not go off. And uh, we're on to Empire turn two. 
All right, so in movement phase, we had a couple charges. These knights crisscrossed. They went into the zombies. These guys went into the flank of the frenzied. Uh, they're frenzied, right? So they can't flee. Yeah. Right. Okay. So they're dead. Okay. So they're there. Um, Huracana moved up to give them plus one to hit. Luminarch moved over to maybe shoot at the corpse cart. And cannon misfired, or steam tank misfired. And I could roll. I couldn't shoot the cannon, but I could move. So I went to go roll the die six, and I rolled a one for movement. So it stuck there. Uh, Crosswoman moved over, didn't shoot. These guys swift reform. The spearman did, moved over. Level one fire moved over this way. Uh, got some shenanigans going on here. Spearman moved up to take a charge from the grave guard. These guys backed up, and these guys I think backed up or stayed the same or something. Movement magic, shh, magic. All right, so I got cute and tried to cast, roll two dice at flush the stone on the tank. And I rolled a one and a two, gave me three, plus his level, I was short by one. Yeah, and then uh, that's the only mage that could really do anything, so I cast the bound spell from the Luminarch, and Steve dispelled that. So, there you go. Moon magic on to shooting. Okay, so in addition to the steam tank misfiring, first cannon shot, hit the corpse cart, mm -hmm. failed to regen, <laughs> did one wound, but did hit the necromancer on top, and killed him. Second cannon misfired, rolled a one, blew itself up. So that's how that's it. Uh, this was my turn too, right? So now we got hand to hand over here. All right, so over here uh, we obliterated the vampire guys and the blood knights, right? Over here I did three wounds to the zombies. He did nothing in return. I won by two, so he lost five models. <laughs> and this is. Uh, this is your turn three, right? Yeah. Coming up on three. Yeah. So these ghouls charged the crosswoman, which fled with the chicken feet token there. Then these grave guard had the general in it. He charged out, so I'm scared to see what he has because he charged right out into the steam tank. That's kind of epic right there. He's like, eat my sword, steam tank. Shove it right down the throat. Flew the bats over the building there. And we are on to magic. Okay, tried to regrow some skeletons, but failed to cast. <laughs> and then tried to curse the ears, my big unit knights, and uh, I dispelled on dice. So we're on to hand to hand, which we have two. One. We have one. Two. Oh, that one is scary. Okay, so in hand to hand, I killed three zombies, he killed two knights, and I stuck on an eight. Then over here, yeah, he's got the Ogre Blade in Red Fury. So he's, what, strength seven, five attacks. Yeah. Every attack that wounds, you get another attack. Mm -hmm. Just the first round. Though. Okay, so, but he did uh, just put one wound on the tank. So that's good. Uh, movement shooting onto my turn three. Mm -hmm. All right, so Steam Tank has, we'll have grinding three times, plus one for the breath weapon against them. Boiler held out. And for the rest of the movement, her condom charged their general charged out of that unit into the zombies to help with that. Um, and then the rest of the unit reformed. Spearman booking it around the corner. Luminarch came up on the hill. Level one fire moved up on the hill. Level four sitting there. Oh, the spearman or crosswoman didn't rally. They ran off the board, as did the other knights that didn't rally. They ran off the board. And we're on the magic. Turn three magic. All right, magic was successful this time. I tried flush to stole him on the steam tank, but Steve used his dice to dispel it. I did get off earth blood on the steam tank, so I got four up regen because throwing is up. So, and I recovered a wound, and then I used the luminarch to cast the burning thing at the corpse cart. Right, hit it, yeah. wounded it this time, did three wounds, and it's dead. So wound magic shooting, shooting cannons. All right, so in the classic battle here, I had the the regen up on the tank at four plus the throne of vines and the other thing. So he, you did one. He did one wound to me, and then I did one wound with the grinds back, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then the <laughs> then the guy comes up and clubs the vampire on the head, <laughs> and he's got a three up armor save and a four up ward. He rolls a two for the armor save and like a three for the ward. So he took two wounds. Did one wound, lost by one, and his vampire general died. 
crumbling wasn't so bad so that guy's now in charge and over here my general had an epic fail against the zombies over there and he charged out um i actually won combat by one yeah. right yeah. one combat by one so he took a wound so they're holding that up um hopefully i'll have a double flea situation going here and uh that's it we're on to steve's turn four right yeah all right so steve uh charged the crosswoman unit and failed his leadership test to redirect that i wanted him to do so bad <laughs> so he had to try to complete the charge but can't fit through so stop there and charge the grave guard into them and miss the charge against these spearmen by one inch he did a nine got an eight and then we're on a magic so in magic uh, nothing went off. Tried to raise some dead. Tried to. Oh, well, you did add uh, skeletons. Uh, die six plus your level. You got three. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. You tried to raise a unit of dead, and I used all my dice to dispel it. So we are on to hand to hand. All right. So the grave guard obliterated the unit of spearmen, but I did kill one, and he overran eleven inches. They're so tired of getting left behind. And then over here, I did a whopping five wounds. And uh, he pulled a knight out of his saddle, killed one, and uh, one by four, crumbled four more. Hope oh, this knight's not here. He's actually dead. Yeah. I keep kind re of remember that they hurt him. It's only six inches though. All right, my turn. Uh, he went first, right? Yeah. So my turn four. All right, so movement. We had the steam tank generated enough steam points to uh, have the boiler hold out. No misfire. So I didn't roll a ten or a misfire. Got in there. That allowed the Huracanum to move out of the way, allowed these knights to move so that they would be in the front arc. That, oops, excuse me. And then <laughs> I moved the spearmen around over that way. Life Mage is still there. Fire Mage, Luminarch still on there. Move these spearmen up to redirect. He's going to have to reform instead of wheel and move. I don't know what I'm doing with those guys. So that's all that. And uh, we're on to magic. So magic had a ton of dice. Luminar channeled twice. We got flesh to stone with throw. I miscast flesh to stone with the throne of vines up, but I two plus it, so I was good with that. Healed a wound by casting that spell. Then cast earth blood. Steve let it go. So he has a, he's <laughs> toughness ten, four up regen, one plus armor save on the tank. Whatever. And then uh, it's fully healed. He did dispel the medium sized fireball that was going to go to the grave card. And that's it for magic. And so Seam Tank came in and did a lot of wounds. Eight. Nine or eight. Nine or eight wounds. And then he crumbled. Oh, that's nine or eight with the crumble, right? Yeah. And then over here, this battle keeps going on. The zombies aren't long for this world. And then here, I'm thinking you're probably going to eat them. And then I'm going to charge you with my knights and eat that. You might lose the zombies this turn on your turn five. So I think I don't think this is really going to go past turn five. Yeah. Your turn five, my turn five. We probably don't really need to play it out unless you want to, because mm -hmm. this guy's going to probably die right now Bam. when I charge in. That'll be it. Kill some spearmen before you know, because <laughs> that's it, right? That's your general, and then everything's going to crumble for. Yeah, and he's the last caster. So. But you know what? Really, you're still going to have. Oh, you didn't get any points, did you? Really. You got a, you got a cannon. And you got this detachment thing here. And then I'll have... That's all you got, right? Cannon. Oh, no, you got one, one unit of five knights. knights. You got the cannon. And then this detachment spearman thing. So that's the unit of knights is like a buck 25. This is like a buck 50. My general was... And the cannon. So you got like 400 points, maybe. My general was 436. <laughs> But that was epic, though. The engineer popping up and going, "Don't you can hit you on the top of the head." So I think I think that's pretty much it. We don't need to go any farther, right? Yeah, we can call it. Call it there. Yeah. All right, the handshake. <laughs> Thanks for coming over and playing. I got a. I didn't get a very good hand on the handshake. <laughs> I fingered the handshake. That's creepy. That's creepy. All right. Well, that's it. One more look at the army. It's pretty cool. Big zombie horde. That's like an epic standoff right there. My guys look so pretty, but they fight like shit. <laughs> and you guys are just like, we're going to eat you. All right, that's it. Rubicon out.